Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these adorable plush mushroom earrings. All you need is a little bit of felt, some thread, and a sewing needle. And of course, whatever you want to decorate them with. So, go ahead and download that pattern and let's start making them. Now that you've downloaded the pattern, you'll see it's a really easy one. So you're going to have to cut out these four pattern pieces here. And remember, don't use the same shears that you use on your fabrics. Use your paper shears for that. So to quickly explain this pattern, I'll use this one here as an example. This part here, the red part, is the mushroom cap. And then under here, I call it the uh, cap bottom. And then the stem, and then this round area here is the stem bottom. I just made up these names, but they work. So this will help you as you choose your colors. And of course, felt pieces. And as you can see here, these are my scraps. I always save my scraps for cute little projects like this. I have coordinating thread. If they don't match perfectly, it's fine. Uh, felt is great to sew with, so you won't really see it that much, your thread. And then a double threaded needle. And of course, your shears and a pencil if you want to trace your... Um, pattern pieces and then I like to use my chopstick to turn the things right side out okay so now I'm going to cut out my pattern pieces okay now that my pattern pieces are all cut out um, I'm going to cut all of these pieces out of the felt and how you do this is up to you you can hold it down or pin it trace it and then cut it out whatever is easy for you to do um here's my plan I'm going to sort of make this uh, mushroom earring here look like this one so my cap is going to be dark purple this here the stem is going to be the lavender color and then under here just like this one I'm going to keep it white so let's go for this and you're going to follow here i am in the view you're going to follow the um instructions there on the pattern so you're going to need four of these three of the stem and one each of these so however best you know how to cut out go for it loving this tutorial please subscribe so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos Now that all my pieces are cut out and according to the pattern, it tells you how many you need. Um, I saved, and I, of course I forgot to tell you this in the beginning, you are going to need just a tiny bit of stuffing, not even this much. Or if you don't have stuffing, you can save these pieces of your felt right here and chop them up into even smaller pieces to use that as stuffing in case you don't have stuffing. So anyway, let's get started sewing this adorable little mushroom earring. So we're, I'm going to take two pieces of the cap and I'm going to place them together. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sew from this end all the way to the point right there and stop at the point. You don't have to cut off the thread from there. So what I'm going to do is use an overcasting stitch and I'm going to try to keep them even and somewhat close together. You can use whatever stitch you want to use because this will be on the inside and you won't see it. Now that I've reached the tip of this cap, I'm going to add another piece and I'm going to sew the same exact way. But this time I'm going to start from the tip and go all the way down to the bottom here. And when I get to the bottom, I'm going to do an end off stitch. Now 
you're going to add the last piece the same exact way. I'm going to start sewing from actually the bottom here. You can start from the top, but if you start from the bottom, it's great because you could just go right up here and then continue down to close it off this way. So continue your same stitching to make the final cap or the completed cap. turn your mushroom cap right sides out and you can stuff it again you can chop up these into small pieces and stuff it but since I have stuffing I'm going to take just a little bit not too much and I'm going to get it right into the cap part here how cute is this mushroom already starting to look okay now what we're going to do is make the stem so the same exact way, I'm going to sew the three stem pieces together. With the stem still turned uh, wrong sides out the way we just finished sewing it you're gonna take the stem bottom and you're gonna sew it onto the bottom here so you're gonna make it fit and it might feel like it doesn't fit you can give your uh, felt a little stretch because this is why I love working with felt it works with you <laughs> so you're gonna just place it down here and sew all the way around so I switched my thread to white and I'm gonna work my way around. Now that it's all sewn together, the stem, I'm going to turn it right side out. Give it a little stretch and there we go. And this is why I have my uh, chopstick. I just like to go around the edge, the edge bottom and it's all ready. And I'm going to put just a little bit of stuffing in there. Not too much. Again, you could use your uh, felt as well. And then I also use the uh, chopstick to get it in there. So if it's not behaving, I try to make little balls of it and stuff it in. There we go. And now the next step is to sew this onto the bottom of the cap. And what you're going to do is just put the cap right over it, just like this. And as you've guessed, you're going to sew again the same method sewing you're using all around here.
now what we're gonna do is sew the cap onto the rest of the mushroom. And it's really simple here. I just like to hold it. You can pin it if you need it to. And with the same stitch, I'm gonna work my way around this perimeter here. So it's up to you which color thread you use, but I think I'm gonna stick to the white. mushroom is almost complete now I'm just going to sew on the ear wire right there so that it dangles but I think um, as I'm sewing that on I'm going to add probably a pearl in between and then after I add the ear wire on I'm thinking I'm gonna just scatter a few of these beads all around the top hmm, let's see what I come up with all right so let me get started here I'm just gonna sew on the very top there I'll trim off all of the extra um, pieces after not pieces thread <laughs> and let's add a pearl maybe a bigger one yeah why not let's go for the big one okay and now this part is pretty much common sense Now I'm going to secure it by sort of doing like an end off stitch there. And you pull until you have your small loop there and you put your needle through the loop. So I'm not going to cut off my thread here because I'm going to start uh, sewing on some of these glass beads. You can do anything you want to yours at this point. You can glue things on, you can just whatever, whatever you think will look, make your mushroom earring even cuter. So I'm gonna pick up the bead with the needle there. Then I'm gonna go back under the bead and to another spot. And I'm gonna continue this process until I really like the way the final earring looks. So how easy was that? This mushroom earring sew along, super easy. Of course I only made one here, but you're gonna go ahead and make another one. So if you really love tutorials like this, why don't you also check out the other videos of mine where I make plushies right up here on the screen. I have a monkey plushie and also a sweet turtle plushie. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.